Hey everyone, Nick Genetakis here. In this video, let's take a look at a free and open source cross-platform database management tool called dBeaver. And that's what we're looking at on the screen now. dBeaver allows you to generate ERDs, otherwise known as entity relationship diagrams. Basically, it's just a visual representation of what your database schema looks like. In this case, I have three tables here. I have a discounts table, a packages table, and a discount packages table. In this case, the, dis the discount packages table is kind of acting as a join table because it has foreign key references back to the discount ID and the package ID. And we can see that here with the dotted lines, we can see that they point over to the respective tables. In addition to being able to see the relationships between all of your tables here, you can also see the specifics about each table. For example, the code is a text field and is active is a Boolean that can't be null. So this is a really, really great tool just to see a visual representation of your database schema. Also, once you have it all connected, you can actually just go to your public schema and then generate a diagram. And then you would see a full diagram for all of your tables in your database. What we're looking at here is my course platform which by the way is not even near complete, not even near complete in MVP status. So these database uh, relationships and fields and things like that, while they're currently functioning, they're pretty much in like, you know, a, a non good state. So like definitely things are gonna change around. So don't use this as like a single source of truth of like a great database design. But I just wanted to show you that uh, this tool can help you visualize all of these things. And you can also move these things around to be a little bit more specific to your project. Like for me, packaging courses kind of go off to the side and then users maybe go in the middle, but then like an enrollment actually is uh, another one of those join type of tables where it pulls together a user ID, um, packages and courses. So like those are all kind of related, but like discounts could maybe go off to their side over here because they're kind of just related to packages. But basically, you know, you can lay this out how you want and then you can save it so um, so it's there next time. But in addition to visualizing your uh, database schema, you can also get some pretty good details about things. For example, you can take a look like over here. I know it's super duper small. Um, there's no zoom feature for like most of the things in dBeaver. So it kind of makes recording videos on it a little bit lame. Like I'll do my best to zoom in post-production when I'm editing this video. But uh, anyways, like if you wanted to take a look at like all of your indexes, then you can see them in one shot, which is pretty nice. Or if you want to drill down to a specific table here, like if I take a look here at the discount packages, you know, you can expand that to see what columns are in there. You can also check out your foreign key and indexes and any type of constraints that you have set up. And then also, you know, if you double click it like that, you can just go to the data tab in the middle here. And then you can see that, um, you know, you can see all of the rows that are have been added to that table. And you can also just like double click into any of those and, and modify them as you see fit. So if you try to put in something that doesn't exist, like if I try to put in like a package ID of like 888, uh, we can see when I go to save this, I just hit control S there to save. We can actually see that the database refused to write this because there's a constraint in place that makes sure that the package ID is there. Uh, in this case, there is no package ID with an 888 uh, which is why it got, you know, which is why it failed to insert. So it's a great way to test your constraints and indexes and all this great stuff. So, you know, this video, uh, it's basically just to bring an awareness to this tool. Uh, I find it to be a little bit nicer than PG admin. I mostly work with PC, uh, not PSQL. I mostly work with Postgres. So you would think like maybe you would just use PG admin if you're using Postgres, but I actually find this tool to be a little bit nicer, especially with the diagrams and just the overall UI, although it does have its problems. Uh, also, it's pretty great as someone like me who's a freelancer where, you know, sometimes I take on projects where people are working with MariaDB or MySQL. So PG admin's not going to really help you too much if you need to connect to a SQL database. Whereas, you know, this one is pretty nice because uh, it allows you to connect to all sorts of different SQL databases. So if you do want to download it and try it out, you know, it is free and open source on GitHub. You just go to dbeaver slash dbeaver and you'll find it. Or you can just go to their homepage here and we can see that, you know, it works for MySQL, Postgres, MariaDB, and so many different other SQL databases. So you would just go to the download button here 
And then you can download it for Windows if you're on Windows like me, or Mac OS, or Linux, or I guess there's like plugins for certain editors. I haven't messed with that, so you may want to try that out. Uh, overall, you know, this is pretty much a quick video. I think it's really cool. Uh, it really helps you visualize things and make some quick edits in development, uh, which I should point out here, like, yeah, I'm only using this tool to mess around in development. I wouldn't really connect to my production database with it. Uh, in that case, I'd probably just use psql on the command line uh, for Postgres, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, I hope you like the video. I hope you find it useful. Let me know how it goes in the comments if you're going to be using it to draw some ERDs. I think that's really the primary use case of where it's valuable because there's not really too many good ERD tools that I found that are free and open source. Anyways, you know what to do. If you like the video, please drop in some comments and like it, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.